Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration of how to create some basic animation effects using EasySketch Pro whiteboard animation software. If you don't know what EasySketch Pro is or indeed what whiteboard animation is then I recommend you check out some of the other, other videos in our YouTube channel. In particular you may want to watch the video showing a full demonstration of EasySketch Pro in action. You'll find the links in the description below this video. OK, well despite its name, whiteboard animation seldom if ever involves true animation. However, we can create something very close to animation by using a succession of images and overlaying them uh, to create an illusion of motion. To illustrate what I mean, here's a project I've created in EasySketch Pro. If I press play, you'll see that the hand draws a clock and then the hour changes to give the illusion of time passing. So how do we create this effect? Well we have to start with a picture of a clock and I happen to have one here which is showing three o'clock. The next thing we need uh, is a photo or image editor so we can actually change this clock and the one I recommend is if we go online to pixlr.com pixlr.com we have an online free image editor which is really excellent resource um, to use it we come to the, the uh, site and we click on P pixel R editor and then it asks us what we want to do we go for open image from computer and we select our clock and open it and there it is in pixel R OK, let's make this box a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Um, you can zoom in and out of the image by pressing Alt and then moving your uh, mouse wheel either forwards or backwards. So you want to make it reasonably big so you can see what you're doing. Uh, the next thing we want to do is select the hour hand and we use the selection tool over here. Click on that and then we draw a box around the hour hand. Now we click edit, copy and edit paste and now we have a copy of the hour hand and if you see over here in the layers we've got the original layer showing the clock and now we've got a new layer which shows our copy um, of the hour hand. Okay let's move the copy hour hand out of the way we do that by selecting the pointer tool and then clicking on it and just dragging it out of the way. We now want to get rid of the original hour hand on our clock so let's go over to layer 0 which is the clock and we effectively want to paint this out. First you want to make sure that the palette over here is showing the same colour as the background of the clock and it is at the moment it's white. Uh, if it wasn't then you would use the pipette here to select white and it would come up on the palette over here. OK, so now we select our paintbrush by clicking over here, the paintbrush symbol, and we come over to the clock. Uh, if you need to change the size of the paintbrush, you can use the shift and less than or greater than symbols to make it bigger or smaller, like so. But we want it fairly small. And then all we do is just very carefully paint over the hour hand. So there we are, now the hour hand's gone. Okay, so now we want our hour hand to show four o'clock. So let's come back to layer one, which is our copy uh, of our hour hand. And we can now move it around, uh, but we need to change the, obviously the direction of it. And to do that, you come up to the edit menu up here and then go to free transform. And this enables us to change the size of the hour hand, we don't particularly want to do that. It also enables us when we get this uh, curved arrow to click and change the orientation of the hour hand. So that's going to be about right I think. Then we go back to selection tool, ask us if we want to apply our transformation. Yes we do. And then we can just drag the hand down to roughly four o'clock. Now this is an image we want to save uh, because it's moved on from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So we come up here, go File, Save and our original image is called Clock 01. We call this Clock 02. 
OK and we save it like so. Next we want uh, an image showing the clock reading 5 o'clock so we do this in a very similar way we go into our edit menu and select free transform and using rotate we move it around to roughly 5 o'clock get the pointer, apply the change and then move the hand roughly to 5 o'clock and we will do file, save and we'll call this one clock 3 OK, save OK, um, next of course we would uh, want to show 6 o'clock so again we would go edit, free transform move roughly vertically uh, apply the transformation, move the hand to show 6 o'clock file save as clock 4 OK and saved and you would continue to do this for however many hours you wanted the clock to move through I won't bore you with uh, watching me do that so I'll uh, pause the video and come back when we've got uh, all the images we need OK I'm back in Easy Sketch Pro and um, let's get this animation going so first thing I want to do is go to the open image button this opens the image library but we want to load an image from our PC so we click down here and we browse and you would go to the directory where you store your clock images uh, we select the first one and click open and done and the first clock is added to the middle of the canvas if we uh, select this image and right click and select properties then we can see that the default is that this image will be drawn by hand and it will take three seconds that's fine um, but we want to add a little pause after this first image has been drawn before we draw the second image so if we click on pause and let's make that a second OK and we'll get rid of the translation OK apply there and OK so if we press play now we can see our clock is being drawn by hand which is great now we add our second image so we come up again to add image load image from PC and this time we'll go for clock 02 open done and here's our second image we can tell it's the second image because it's got number two meaning it's the second item added to the canvas and we can see that uh, it's now showing four o'clock uh, now we don't want this one to be drawn by hand uh, because that would not create the illusion we're looking for so we double click on it right click go to properties and this time we want to do nothing we just want this second image to appear over the first one and we don't want it to take three seconds let's drop that down to half a second should we say and we don't want a translation so we'll make that zero and apply there OK and now if we press play we've got the clock being drawn a short pause and then it moves to four o'clock I'm sure you know what happens next uh, we go to add image load image from PC we go to the third image of our clock open that done it's added to the canvas showing five o'clock again double click to select right click properties and just as before we want to do nothing drop it down to about half a second lose the translation apply and OK and we would continue doing that for all the images overlaying them remembering to change it to do nothing uh, I won't uh, bore you by making you sit through me doing that so I'll come back when I finished OK I've overlaid all 10 images one on top of the other and changed the uh, the entrance of each object to uh, do nothing and now if we press play we get the first image being drawn and then the other images overlaying the first one to give the illusion of motion okay I hope you've enjoyed that uh, quick demonstration of how to create some basic animation effects in Easy Sketch Pro uh, this has been a very simple demonstration uh, with a bit of imagination and creative thought you can create all sorts of effects so thank you for watching and goodbye